Hi guys, coming at you with another video. So this year I did indeed go to the Vegan Mania and this year was their 10th anniversary. I'm going to show you what was in the swag uh, bag. Um, there was uh, some, some vendors that uh, we walked around and they were giving some stuff out. And so I saw on um, Instagram and other places that um, other people got more things to put in their bags. Um, but this, all this that's in the bag was just what was in the bag. No added. The only added thing that uh, I got was um, these dandy uh, vanilla marshmallows. And the rest is uh, was in the bag. And of course, the bag uh, Upton. Because Upton has been doing their bags for like five years, maybe? I'm not exactly sure. Um, so the first thing is Lundberg's uh, Smoky Barbecue Grain Bites. And then Rhythm Superfood Kale Chips and Cool Kale. Oh, Cool Kale. Cool Ranch. Then uh, Follow Your Heart. A spreader. A mixer. However you want to. Uh, Upton Natural Pan CU. And this is uh, funny. My mom actually went to the booth and bought another box and I showed her that we uh, got it in the swag bag and she's like oh man I wish I knew because some of the stuff there can be quite expensive um Rob uh Bob's Red Mill uh nutritional yeast then organ uh vanilla bean protein powder some paper. I think I actually picked this one up. I think they were handing it out. Uh, Natural Awakenings. And then a Midwest Kitchen. Uh, a coupon. And then I believe these, you plant them and they seed up. A coupon from Hodo. Coupon from Rhythm and coupon from Bob's Red Mill. Who looks this? Okay. Oh, recipes and products from Bob's Red Mill. A sticker and vision pos positive. Um, Froyo and candy. Uh, Barking Beauties. And it has, if you have a dog, a nail clipping. Uh, organ promotional thing. Uh, native foods. What's this? Oh, Tiferky. And there's coupons. I don't know. Oh, a social club. Okay. A natural vegan box. Oh, this was the things that was happening the weekend. And in June's dream. Quinoa cookies. Hmm. Okay, and then, oh, so whenever I go to the um, Vegan Mania, I always go to Pie Pie, my darling, because I, I like their cupcakes, and last year's cupcakes seemed just a little bit better. This year's, it was, it was really moist, but I think last year's they had like 
chocolate chip cookie inside of the cupcake. It was super good. It was good this year, but I think last year's was really good. Um, but with every purchase uh, of the cupcakes, we got stickers. So we got little stickers. And then what's this? Oh, the Date Lady caramel sauces. Um, South of France lavender field soaps. They smell really good. Um, really Goods uh, pumpkin seed and kale. Uh, Starship Salon Styling Gel. And um, my mom had the styling gel and I had the shampoo and we switched because I use styling gel more than she uses uh, shampoo. And uh, Smarties. My mom gave me her Smarties too. So that's why I have two, just like I have two bars of soap. Because I love me some soap. Uh, Aiden Dream Quinoa Chocolate Chip Cookie. The Grandpa Soap Rosemary Shampoo. Uh, Kirk's uh, Cleanser Juniper and Lime. And co Cocoa Mouth, and they're in vanilla. I got two of these. And then Raw Rev Glow uh, in peanut butter and sea salt. And I've, tr I've had their chocolate brownie because it was, uh, they actually donated when I did um, my uh, chemo bags. And uh, so I, I tried the chocolate brownie ones. I think it was chocolate brownie. I know it was chocolate or something. And I still have like one or two bars downstairs. They're so good. Um, and this is Peridular Soaps. Lavender Mint. Yeah, didn't say that right. And then this is 100% natural. What's in here? Okay. So we got the card and location. And then, ooh, a 10% off coupon. Ooh. And then let's see here. We have some sea berry moisturizer, some kelp and mint volumizing conditioner. And some coconut body cream. Sweet. Excuse me. That's all that um, was in the bag. When I, uh, when I went there, I typically just go in there um, and sit down. And I get, you know, the map of uh, the, where the booths are and everything. And I just have my mom go because... I'll buy way too many things and just, we won't have a house anymore by the things that I, I love way too many things when I go there. Um, but when I sit there, I, I typically try and make friends with uh, people. And so um, I brought my stool uh, ottoman thing with me to sit outside. Um, and my mom brought it back to the car when we got our, our swag bags and she put both our swag bags in the car and so we were going into uh, the venue and I was like I didn't even bring a bag and uh, so we were walking in and one of the volunteers was like oh if you don't have a bag here's a bag and I'm like oh no I have a bag and I was like well I'll take another bag and I'm like you took a third bag there's no other people that could have used that bag so I was honored the whole time <laughs> about it which you know um but there were there was this lady looking for her um friend when I was sitting at the ta at uh the table in like the food area and um 
she said, oh, no, I wasn't able to get a bag. And so I gave her, um, I think, like, I think two of these because her and her friend were there. And then that spatula thing. And I think something else, but I'm not exactly sure. So, you know, just to share what was in the third bag. Because in the third bag were, um, like, three of these, um, two Smarties, and the spatula thing and I think that's it there wasn't as much stuff because it was just you know tra trail off from the other donations that they had um and so they left and then there was this woman uh I believe her name is Cynthia oh, I I believe so um and I I kept on wanting to talk to her but I'm very bad at starting conversations at all so, um, I just said, oh, how, how is your day going? And she's like, oh, good. And so we started talking and now she's following me on Instagram and I'm following her. And, uh, she said that she wasn't able to get a swag bag either. And so what I had left was one of these, uh, caramels, I think a Smarty and maybe something else. I'm not exactly sure. And then, um, the bag itself. And I'm like, oh, well, here you go. And she's like, oh, okay, thank you. Thank you so much. I'm like, yeah, no problem. Because in my mind, I thought my mom and I already have a bag. This was an extra bag. You didn't get one. It's cool. And my mom, after, is like, where's the third bag? I'm like, what third bag? But uh, I told her, and she was a little annoyed, but she's like, well, what are we going to be doing with the third bag anyway? My mom... We already have a lot of bags, but I like keeping these bags because, you know, memories and you can reuse them. So that is, um, that's all that was in the bags. I did have a uh, pretty good time. It was chilly, but it was better than last year because last year I believe it was raining. So it, it was better. It was just real cold. <laughs> um... And the people that I was in line with were pretty nice. Uh, they went to a benefit before. And uh, so they were talking a little bit about the benefit or something. Because I think they went to some like fancy dinner. I'm not exactly sure. Before. Uh, the night before. And uh, so they were excited and they came from Montreal or they they were at an event in Montreal it was it was interesting and um there was a gal in line that was taking orders for uh Pie Pie my darling too so that was funny and I said oh you're, uh, you're taking orders and she said yeah they're not sure if they're coming so I'm taking orders so I know exactly what they want because uh Pie Pie my darling uh has this funfetti cake and I'm not sure if they had it this year I saw it last year I didn't see it this year because there are a lot of people last year I saw them just walking away with this rainbow colored uh piece of cake but this year I didn't see um that many people so and uh they and they did a uh video on I think it was Facebook of uh, the people in the line. And so last year I was um, in line and in the uh, clip. And now this year I was in line. Um, and both times I had my stool. I'm really hoping that one of these years I'm not going to need my stool. But I'm still a little, when I uh, stand for too long, get a little dizzy and stuff. And like a few, like a week or two ago, I am... Um, blacked out so I'm just trying to still take precautions so I don't just fall because that would really suck if I was in line and I wasn't able to go and I blacked out I would be so mad if we went to Chicago and then blacked out that would really suck so I'm happy that I took the stool I'm happy but also sad that they need the stool and uh so, like I said, I had a, I had a good time. If you guys haven't been before, you really should. Um, 
they've been doing this for 10 years and uh, they keep on saying that it's getting bigger and bigger this year they actually had um, I believe more food vendors so they had like a second food court kind of thing something like that um, I don't have the paperwork for it. I swore I had like the map that I could show you some of the stuff but I don't know where it went so um, you should check it out or check around your area how um how if any events are happening in your area because you know it's fun to try new things out um I try and do more vegetarian kind of things not I don't do all vegan I still have some problems uh just cutting out everything but this is nice to try and the gal that I was talking to, uh, Cynthia, said, you know, to get recipes and all this kind of stuff, just to try different things out and who knows, you might like it and you might not, but it's worth a try and uh, yeah. So I hope you guys are having a really, really good day. I keep on not looking. The cam the lens is right here, and I keep on, because this is on my cell phone, or well, whatever. I hope you guys are having a super, super awesome day. All right, then. Bye-bye.